Richard Helms ran the Dirty Tricks Department after the Bay of Pigs and became Director of Central Intelligence in 1966. He destroyed the archive on MK Ultra when he left in 1972 and successfully covered up the crimes of MK Ultra. Helms was a product of the Eastern Establishment. His grandfather was President of the Federal Reserve. Helms, like Gottlieb, was a Machiavellian character who used paperclip scientists and would stop at nothing to win. He advocated low-intensity warfare, transmitting strategic subliminal messages to the brains of enemy populations and the use of high frequencies to affect memory and the unconscious mind. In 1964, he wrote a memo to the Warren Commission where he mentions biological radio communication. Quote, Cybernetics can be used in molding of a child's character, the inculcation of knowledge and techniques, the amassing of experience, the establishment of social behavior patterns, all functions which can be summarized as control of the growth processes of the individual. In 1953, MK Ultra relied on LSD, but by the 1960s the emphasis had changed to biological radio communication. MKUltra had 149 sub-projects that encompassed nearly every aspect of human behavior and social science. In the 1977 Senate hearings, former CIA Director Admiral Stansfield Turner stated that the program took place at 80 institutions, including 44 universities, 15 private companies, 12 hospitals, and 3 prisons. MKUltra sub-project 119 was the foundation of all non-lethal weapons programs currently active and included a summary of five areas, one of which is entitled Techniques of Activation of the Human Organism by Remote Electronic Means. This memo was dated August 17, 1960, and when viewed with other evidence that was not destroyed, shows significant interest in radio frequency weapons and direct control of human behavior at a distance. By 1960, the CIA dropped emphasis on the use of LSD in favor of electronic influence. This aspect of the research is where the greatest modern emphasis has been, rather than chemical or biological agents, both of which violate existing treaties and leave physical traces. Dr. Stephen Aldrich took control of the Office of Research and Development in 1962 from Dr. Sidney Gottlieb. Aldrich started Operation Often, an investigation into the occult with the help of Houston sorceress Sybil Leake. CIA behaviorists carefully studied every aspect of the occult underground. The Scientific Engineering Institute, SEI, was a CIA cutout that had been set up in 1956 to study radar. In 1962, SEI set up a lab to study the effects of electrodes deep in the brain. In 1972, SEI also sponsored a course at the University of South Carolina in rituals of demonology and voodoo. Dr. Aldrich was an MKUltra programmer who focused on remote brain manipulation and the occult, the twin threads that run through SEI Corporation. In 1962, a CIA manual focused on Radio Hypnotic Intracerebral Control, RHIC, which was developed by the Pentagon, quote, When a part of your brain receives a tiny electrical impulse from outside sources, such as vision, hearing, etc., an emotion is produced, anger at the sight of a gang of boys beating an old woman, for example. The same emotions of anger can be created by artificial radio signals sent to your brain by a controller. You could instantly feel the same white-hot anger without any apparent reason." Unquote. 